Mrs. Hampton's fourth grade class is presenting a play. The name of it is The Best Christmas Vacation. Scene one. The actors in the play are Ruben and Steve Ross. Chris Heath is Ralph. Rick Boy is Linda. Chris Tina Rector is Alice. Greg Hale is White. Jason Bones is Jack. Tony Smith is Marisol. Ann Edwards is Dory. It is, and it is Christmas afternoon, and the kids are in the park. I got a watch and $5 for Christmas. I got a tape recorder. That's neat. Can we try it? Sure, but only it's not working right now. I think I punched the wrong buttons, and I got tape all wound up in it. My dad has to fix it. Sounds like you guys had a great Christmas. Didn't you? Sure. What did you get? Well, I got electric football game. Can we play with it later? I guess so, Mom. I've been playing with it all day, all afternoon with my sister. I'm kind of tired of it. You know what? Why? I feel sad. Sad? Why? I don't know. I get so excited about Christmas, and then it's all over an hour or two. And then I get kind of bored and sad. It's like a big letdown. That's right. It's not my fault. anymore? Wow, I hope not. That's depressing. What's depressing? Christmas, it's not as much fun as it used to be. You think you're depressed? What about those people on Mulberry Street? What people? Did you hear? One of those apartment buildings burned down last night. On Christmas Eve? Yes. Was anybody hurt? No, everybody got out. That's lucky. Just think, all old Christmas presents are up. And that's not all. All the furniture, the clothes, everything. Where are those people? Where did they go? Most of them are staying in the basement of the church. But they need everything, clothes, and food, and everything. Let's do something. Like what? Let's give a show. Everybody can act. We can round up the kids from school. That's great. We'll charge a mission. It's a good cause, so everybody will come. Okay, let's go find another kid. Yeah, I don't want to go. Thank you. 
get sad if you need a bite of temper. It'll be dark anyway. If you're quiet and wait until all the children are in bed, maybe no one will see you. But I like to see the children. Have them see me. Perhaps if you just see a box. I may never eat again. Perhaps by next Christmas I'll be nothing but skin and bones. Watch this. Virginia, your little friends are wrong. They have been affected 
nothing can be which is not comprehensible by their little minds. All minds, Virginia, whether they be men or children, are little. And this great universe of ours, <coughs> man is a mere insect, an ant, in his intellect compared with the boundless world about him, as measured by the intelligence capable of grasping the whole truth and knowledge. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. He exists. And as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exist. And you know that they abound and give to your life its highest beauty and joy. Alas, how dreary would be the world if there were no Santa Claus. It would be as dreary as if there were no Virginias. There would be no childlike faith then, no poetry, no romance to make tall of its existence. We should have no enjoyment except in sense and sight. The eternal light with which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. Not believe in Santa Claus? You might as well not believe in fairies. You might get your pop to hire all the men to watch in all the chimneys on Christmas Eve to catch Santa Claus. But even if they didn't catch him, what would that prove? Nobody sees Santa Claus, but that is no sign that there is no Santa Claus. The most real things in the world are those which neither children nor men can see. Did you ever see fairies dancing on the lawn? Of course not, but that's no sign that there is not any there. Nobody can conceive or imagine all the wonders that are unseen and unseeable in the world. You tear apart the baby's rattle and you see what makes the noise inside. But there is a veil covering the unseen world which not the strongest man nor even the united strength of all the strongest men that ever lived could tear apart. Only faith, fantasy, poetry, love, romance can push aside that curtain and be the picture of supernal beauty and glory beyond. Is it all real? Ah, oh, Virginia. In all this world, there is nothing else real in a body. No, Santa Claus? Thank God he lives. And he lives forever. A thousand years from now, Virginia, nay, ten times, ten thousand years from now, he will continue to make the glad heart of childhood. I'd now like to present Clay West as Santa and Kim Steele as Mrs. Santa Claus in Conversations Between Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus or Rowena Bennett. Now I take you to the North Pole early Christmas morning. Oh, <laughs> 